guys, welcome back to the channel, Yarch Crafter. And today I have got floss tube, so my stitching progress, and I've also got some plans for next year. So, sorry, drink the tea. Right. So, just to start off with, I have not managed to get round to doing a peppermint purple um i've just not had time i've been uh really busy and family stuff and you know relatives and and things like that but I, i'll explain that more on sunday if you were uh, watch my whip and chat um so yeah what i have been up to so I have been working like gangbusters on the Halloween, the Halloween stitch along for stitch on me. I have got loads done. Um, just take this top clip off and I can show you guys. So I have got all of the frame done. Uh, yesterday been Wednesday uh, I managed to get all the bottom half of all the frame and everything finished and I finished off the uh, spine at the side as well and I managed to get this character here done so I've just got to fill in all of these squares now just move that thread so you can actually see it says All Hallows Eve 2021. 20, so, yeah, I've got the uh, bookmark at the bottom here uh, for when I finish the rest of the squares. So, I'll just um, probably do that last bit in hand. But, yeah, that's how far I'm along with that now. Let me see if I can check what number I'm on uh, I think that's 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 18 19 yeah so I'm just on to number 20 so yeah that's how far along I am with that so, put all this back into the bag, keep it all together. So, that is that one. And I've managed to do a little bit more on the Christmas mouse. I think I've only done a little bit since I was last with you guys. I think I've done a little bit of uh, this bottom here so a little bit more and I think I've done a bit more sort of around this bauble here so a little bit more but the main project I've been working on is the Halloween uh, piece so that one and then I got out the Darin Jones the snow and sparkle so I've managed a little bit on this piece so I've done uh, the white around here I've finished uh, all of this top line here I've done this line I started this line here and then I've done some of the green and I'm just working here on the blue bit at the minute so I've got a little bit more on this done but um, yeah so mainly later on when I tend to work on that but I find my eyes going and 
Yes, um, it's a, a, a pattern on the uh, computer. It was one of the uh, free ones for, from Doreen Jones. And last but not least, I have made a restart. Um, I have been working on the secret stitch along with Vervico and Leonardo. And I started on the fabric that came with the kit. And I'll show you how far I got with it. But I didn't like it. I did the blue and then I was trying to do, um, I think it was a little bit of the darker blue and then I moved on to the red and I didn't like it. I didn't. I didn't want to get it out. I didn't want to work on it. Or I don't know, like the darker blue here, and yeah, I just couldn't get it to line up. I couldn't get it to meet up. So I chose to go back to Ada. So, like I said, I have made a restart, and I really do like this better i find it much easier to work on and yeah just doing over one square rather than two with the higher count and i really do much prefer working on the ada this is a uh, 14 count so i made a little bit of a start on that uh, this morning uh, before coming up to record floss tube so i've made a little bit of a start yeah a bit of a restart and yeah i just i decided to go back to uh ada because that's just what i prefer to work on and now the camera has froze now we're back so um yeah i just I prefer working on the smaller, the lower counts, uh, the bigger counts, sorry, rather than um, like an even weave, because I think that was uh, 28, uh, 28 count even weave that came with the kit. But like I said, I prefer working on the Ada. I find it uh, easier to see and yeah just yeah so like i said i restarted that this morning on uh 14 count and yeah i think i'm gonna enjoy it more want to get it out and want to work on it and um this morning being uh friday we had the fourth drop for the uh mystery stitch along um i haven't looked yet um but yeah we're on to uh drop four and i'm only just starting <laughs> um i don't even think when i first started that i was halfway through the first drop so but yeah i think going back to 14 count ada i'm going to want to get it out and i'm going to want to work on it and there's a uh, whole cross stitches there's half stitches uh there's some french knots there's i think it was drop two there was a bow that you make um but yeah just see how i get along with it um but yeah i think i'm uh, going to use uh, some beads rather than uh, french knots i think i've still got some of the clear beads left that were sent to me by danielle for the mermaid stitch along i think i've still got some of those beads left so i'll have a look so let's move on to plans and some things that i've been gathering and preparing and um i'm not sure whether it's been a previous thing but this year 
um, I found on Facebook that there's been a Halloween group, a Halloween stitching group. And this year, um, some members of the group have maybe done two, three projects. Uh, some people have done, I think when they first introduced it at the beginning of the year, it was... 21 halloween projects for 2021 and they're doing the same again next year so 22 halloween projects for 2022 you can do as many or as few as you want let me just find the i have in my photos that the group uh, let me find the group name that one no not that one <clears throat> That one. 21 Halloween projects for 2021. So that's the current name of the group. So 21 Halloween cross stitch projects in 2021. And I think at the top of the page it said that there's going to be a group name or a name change for next year. And I think. From memory, it's just going to be uh, Halloween cross stitch projects, or um, because one of the admin or the group owner was saying that they have to change the name of the group each year. Because, like I said, currently it's 21 Halloween cross stitch projects in 2021. So, like I said, you can do as few or as many as you like and I have been collecting some projects so I'm going to try and show you guys some of the projects that I am planning and this one is what does that say Unpicolo Halloween. This was a pattern that was shared on Facebook. I think it was actually Danielle that shared it. This is a free cross stitch pattern. So that's one that I'm going to be doing. Definitely going to be doing that one. Then there's this one that I have in my files. It's by Infinity Stitch and it says Happy Halloween and it's got a pumpkin at the bottom. Like I said, by Infinity Stitches. Then there's this one, the Cat Pumpkin. Again, by Infinity Stitches, and if you head over to these groups that I'm mentioning, then they're all uh, free ones. And this one is also by Infinity Stitches, and it's a uh, black work. So there's like a spider web in the middle, and then there's some uh, bats around the edge witches hats and it just says trick or treat and it's like a it's equal on each side then this is one of the friday freebies from the halloween cross stitch group and it's a witch so if you head over to the group, that is a Friday freebie. 
that's that one and then lastly I just had a quick look on the uh, Darin Jones cross stitch group and again this is a Friday freebie and she's just released that one this morning and it's two black cats with the pumpkin so I need to download the witch from the Halloween group and then I need to download the black cats from Darin Jones and I also need to look to see if there's any more Halloween inspired so that's one two three four five six I have a seventh planned the Halloween one that was in the magazine so the uh, cross stitcher and this is October 2021 and it's the midnight magic so I have the fabric and I think I have pulled all of the threads for it as well so what did I say I had six on my phone so this is a seventh and um, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna start them all I'm gonna just kit up one at a time and just work through you know as many as I can for the year um, I'm gonna post what I plan to work on but I'm not gonna put any pressure on but I'm definitely going to stitch the Halloween one in the magazine and then when or if I manage to get round to doing any of these six others on my phone depending what else is going on next year um, I'm not sure if there's I know that groups, uh, some groups generally have um, stitch alongs going on. I know that Peppermint Purple usually have a couple, uh, usually have a, Peppermint Purple usually have a black work stitch along. Um, as you guys have seen, I am working on this year's and last year's so peppermint purple they usually do one there's uh stitch on a may usually have a couple of events and things like that going on there's obviously the halloween one uh this year and then there's the christmas one that's due to start um, I think next year instead of the Christmas one there'll be the winter one like I've done the previous year I've shown you guys that a couple of times before um, and yeah I usually hear of other projects and things like that going on um, trying to think what that other group was just give me a second let me get my bag uh because they did the flourish i've forgotten what the name of that group is now yeah the flourish the flourish stitch along i was gonna do that and i can't remember what the group was um i think i've seen on like facebook um cunning cross stitch usually do a couple of different things um trying to think what else that i've seen uh i keep wanting to say black needle society but that's not the name of what i'm thinking of stitches and some yeah anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and let you guys go
So, but yeah, I am definitely going to be taking part in the Halloween, uh, the Halloween group uh, stitches. There's also a 22 stash begone. Um, I think. I don't want to speak wrong, but I think it is. I think it's Shaleen. Um, or is it somebody else? I can't think, but um, it's a group for all the different crafts. So colouring, stitching, knitting, crochet, all the different. And it's 22 stash be gone. So... You work on the things that you already have um so like for cross stitch you've already got to own the pattern by january 1st um you can buy uh floss and fabric but you've already got to have the pattern or own the pattern um i think shaleen mentioned in her video that if it's like magazine subscriptions and things like that obviously you've already paid for them so when they come in they can be included um i think she was also saying for people who color you've already got to own the book by january 1st but you can buy you know your pens your colors your felt tips um obviously you need those things to be able to color so yeah you can buy things like that um but there was a little bit of confusion with um knitting and crochet i think it was said that it was to use your wool stash um so yeah use the uh wool that you already have um if you like missing one skin of something or one ball of wool for something then obviously you can go out and buy that to finish that project um but yeah so i'm going to be definitely taking part in that because obviously these halloween ones can be included because i already have the pattern or you know so it can you know as long as people are okay with it being multi multi event um so yeah definitely going to be taking part in stash be gone 22 stash be gone the halloween um the halloween group so i'm going to post my projects that i plan on starting so yeah definitely um going to be looking at Doreen Jones and seeing what else Halloween themed things that she has uh, diamond painting um, I think I've got um, a couple of diamond paintings picked out but I think the first one that I want to start for next year is one that I was gifted a couple of years ago for my birthday. It's some purple flowers, purple roses, um, but I want to get some uh, ABs to sparkle it up a little bit, uh, some square purple ABs. Um, I think there's a couple of different places that I've seen you can get the uh, ABs from. Uh, I think. But yeah, definitely that one I want to start uh, for next year. That's going to be the definite first diamond painting for next year. Um, hopefully if I can get my Christmas ones finished because I've got a couple lined up. I've got the huge one that's uh, 
behind me on there from Victoria's Moon. It's the Coca-Cola truck. But then I've also got a little Christmas one kitted up that I'm planning to start in the live streams. The Thursday craft and chat live streams that me and Chris and Orchid uh, do on a Thursday. Um, so yeah, once I've finished those, hopefully ready for the new year i can then get the flowers started uh yeah square diamonds <laughs> so anyway i am going to stop rambling and let you guys go uh 25 minutes so yeah, like I said, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little catch up and seeing what I've been up to. So remember, guys, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye, guys.